you know, YouTube, just showing you what this enclosure looks like finished. Now, I had a bit of a stuff up with it. Um, I didn't realise when I was doing it, uh, actually it's this end, that this end of the bath here um, actually will drop down a little bit. And I didn't factor that in. I, I designed it so it was going to be flush. And then I realised, hang on, it's actually going to drop down a little bit. So what I've done is I've made the bath frame and then I'm going to knock up a little frame to go in between here and the wall. So basically that's going to the back corner. And you can see there, um, uh, it's all spaced 450. Um, I think that one there, that one there's 460. I flipped that one around, so I'm not just whacking on the knob in there. So four, 450. Uh, when I'm happy with it, I'll do a test fit and then I'll fill in these spots here. I'll put an extra knob there, one there, and there's one on each corner. Um, so you can see there how it's all gone together. Um, that's actually going to sit in the wall a little bit. There's a bit of fibre cement sheet. We'll space that out. Then I'll screw through that into the wall. Um, and then it'll be screwed down to the tongue and groove floor. Um, I just have to put the, the plug hole fitting in. Um, and I'll probably screw it together and cut out. I'll probably have to cut out like a rectangle. Because when I'm putting it in, um, I'm going under a mixer tap that's already in the wall. So I've got to raise that up probably about two inches I've worked out which means that when I put that in, it's gonna be a bit of fun. If I just do a hole saw, which I can, just a hole saw hole, um, I might not be able to get the bath in with the fitting. So I'm just gonna cut a square out and then um, probably fill it with, I might even, might, probably won't even fill it, won't need filling. Um, yeah, so basically it's gonna be screwed down to the floor. So this is upside down, obviously and um, then your mortar bed goes in here so what you've got to do there is build a little uh, form uh, so basically a, 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 like there'll be a little one i'll probably put a little one there and one there and there'll be nothing r right around the plug hole and i'll just use timbers and some cement sheet i'll probably put um, just to save a bit of um, uh, mortar I'll probably put like timbers across that way screw a cement sheet to the top and then put mortar on top that way I'm not using a, a heap of mortar um, I bought six bags but it, you always use way more of it than you think so um, I've, I've got six bags there if I do it this way putting the timbers down the cement sheet on top and then the mortar I probably won't have you know a whole lot of mortar there which would be good um, and then you just leave that to dry and then you'll have a nice snug fitting hopefully bath um, which should be level uh, there's quite a bit of working out with how you're going to tile the, the bath because you don't want to be having slivers of tiles and things so I had to work it all out beforehand because I want a full tile at the base um, and I want it I don't want a sliver around the edge of the bath so my skirting tile is going to be a full tile and where it goes up to the shower will be probably a half tile because I'm using a shower base um, and then the edges of the bath and where the taps are, I don't want a grout line and I don't want like a five mil tile sliver. So you've got, there's one one or two walls I've got to work out, bit, spend a bit of time working out before I actually do it because um, yeah, you want it to look nice. So um, anyway, this is showing you what, what it's, um, so you can see there how I said the, the, the ends, I had to give it about two mil more there. So I just made some packers, which are just, um, timber um, crosscut uh, through the end grain it just basically gives me an extra couple of millimeters there and they're screwed so that that piece there is part of that frame and those two are part of this frame so that's uh, load bearing there's less than 450 there and when i've screwed i've offset the screws that's actually what you should do so see there's a screw there there's a screw over there and there's a screw there so you should do that um, when you're doing anything sort of like this is offset your screws um, just to get things straight. Um, anyway, well, that's that's how I think you build a bath enclosure. That's how I did it. So there's probably 50 other different ways to do it, but um, that's the way I did it. Um, basically, I'll put it in and what I want to do is because I'm because we've only got one shower is I'm going to put this in. I'm going to just sheet it up and waterproof it. And then I'm going to put a temporary shower above the bath so then I can pull the shower out and do the shower because I obviously need somewhere to shower. Um, so the, I'll probably just leave it waterproofed and shower with a blue be blue waterproofing wall is what I'll probably do. Anyway, uh, cheers. Thanks for watching.